air conditioning on a 1985 300 SL, 380 SL, sorry, and a very, very clean 380 SL. If you look, the rugs, the mats, the seats, everything's in immaculate condition on this. Yeah, this is definitely a keeper. And this customer might be his last year driving, I was told. He's getting to that age where he just needs air conditioning for this one last summer, and that'll be it. But I found the leak and kind of knew where it was before. Have worked on this vehicle before. As you can see, you can't see anything here. But let's see if I, I can get down there, get the light right on the clutch if you can see it let's see if i can get in another direction come on let me get in there balance there we go if i could zoom in you can see the green glow down there and that's the uv dye get my other light down there and you can really see it uh glow away and that's from the shaft seal so we're not going to do anything about that we are just going to fill it up and it's really slow but um, we're gonna get him some air conditioning he'll enjoy his last year of his life with uh, his last year of driving uh, with some AC this summer and that's it and after that it'll probably be brought back to the shop and it'll be repaired and passed on to the next customer so this is a 107 chassis as you can tell here by the VIN plate and you come over here to their sticker and you look for the 107 chassis you see where it says the 107 ch chassis we have one kilogram a thousand grams and that's what we'll fill it up to and you always could tell my die because how bright it shines you can see it right there that's the sight glass this die I use is extremely bright uh, almost no shops will buy it because it's a little too expensive I get it in a 32 ounce quart containers and it's well over two hundred dollars and everyone squeals when they hear that price but it does the job that's the difference you pay for what you get usually every now and then somebody does some marketing tricks and uh, gimmicks a product on the market that doesn't do so well um, all right so I'm gonna finish up this vacuum here and then do a recharge and uh, let's see how the pressures look on this old beast and, and you know what let's do a comparison you know the can of AC Pro and they have that little gauge on them that goes up in that green area and it means it should be good and that's usually somewhere around 30 psi I think up to 40 45 psi somewhere somewhere in that area let's see what the low side pressure looks like on this vehicle and if you had a can of AC Pro and you were trying to fill up this vehicle using the little gauge, let's see what our low side looks like. And let's try to determine what damage would be caused if you use a can of AC Pro with that little low side gauge that gives you the green area between the little area and you tried to fill it up to that point. What would break? All right, see you on the next one.